have something. <laughs> oh yeah, morning cup. Huh? Morning cup. I'm the no. one who keeps thinking you're gonna say something different. Uh, you you're supposed to know what you're gonna be saying. I I know. I, I noticed this yesterday, but we're off center, which drives my OCD crazy. <laughs> <laughs> There it is. That's better. Even though we're off center here, we're on center up there. Uh, that's so weird. I know, man. It's all crazy. It is. It is. I think you need to reset everything. Huh? Oh. <laughs> Bye, everybody. No. <laughs> oh, but you said. After the show. No, because. After the show. But I, you said. That, no. <laughs> <laughs> Come on, in, everybody. Thanks for joining us. Thanks for being a part of the network. And thank you for liking, commenting, and sharing on all of these posts. Yes, thank you. <laughs> and David's giving us the thumbs up. Back at you. <laughs> Back at you. Oh my goodness. Last night was a little chaotic and long. I want to hear it, Miss. Go to bed at what was it like nine thirty? Well, I was already passing out at eight. Hmm. Yeah, that's true. Actually, and I think you almost made it to ten, so I give you. I, I did. I did, and and that's because you know. Election results were coming. <laughs> yes, yes. So, so we'll go ahead and jump into that. What is our title today, Lois? Um, morning cup of yay! No more political ads or when <laughs> Wednesday attacks. Yes. Oh my goodness, those things were annoying. Who is glad not to see more political ads? Me. <laughs> oh my god. I can see Rupert in the back too. He's like, yes. <laughs> no more. And that ads. was getting ridiculous. Everywhere political oh, ads, and every day in in the mailbox, and just... oh, that was a man. They're back. you know what? They've got to have at least half the Brazilian rainforest in political flyers in our oh, PO box. It just what? no, knock it up. Yeah, <laughs> but yeah, no more political ads. Those things were getting out of hand. They were, they were, and and thankfully for us, we didn't experience this, but a lot of people experienced. Um, political parties and candidates, their offices, calling oh, no, 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 their no. phones and cell phones. I mean, their landlines and their cell phones. Mm -hmm. And just, uh-uh. I don't want to hear it. Okay, so you're saying we didn't experience this. I forgot to mention something to you. Oh. So this Verizon jetpack that is designed specifically to get me online and serve no other function through a cellular network, has gotten dozens and dozens of text messages from political groups. Really? Yeah, and it's clogged up the memory so bad that it's having issues. So I've got to go through Stop and delete it. them. I know, it, it's a jetpack, you morons. Not a texting device. I can't respond to you for this. I'm not going to read your crap. I have to delete it and clear it so I can use it. What? it. Grr. <laughs> <laughs> So, yeah, the jet pop pack was spam. The jet pop. The jet pop was spam. <laughs> spam like nobody's business. Oh, my goodness. And Gina says, uh, me too, tired of them. Yeah. I tell oh. you what, man, those things were getting, I mean, everywhere. The, everywhere yes. it was a sea of idiocy. It was. It and, it really, and and the sad thing is, is the ads weren't really saying why, why we should vote for mm -hmm. X person. It was... I mean, this and, person is evil, and that person is the devil, and this person is. It was. It's like, how, how are you even supposed to know if that crap is true? If, you know what? If you're dumb enough to believe those kinds of ads, you shouldn't be voting. Pretty much. Um, you should oh, probably do your own research. On that. Oh, there, there's a controversy episode <laughs> yeah. right there. Um, That's all it was. He was just like, this no. person is evil because they said this. We're like, well, okay, in context with what? <laughs> right. Uh, but but the thing is, is the reason I say there's a controversy episode there is there is a state actually um, contemplating lowering the voting age to, oh, 16, hell no. to 16 years old. Oh, my God. <laughs> Uh, Mary says good morning. Good morning, Mary. Good morning, Mary. Thanks for joining us. And thank you for liking, commenting, and sharing. It, yes. It does help us out, guys. You guys are amazing. Oh, my goodness. Without you guys, we wouldn't have the network. You guys this are. Is true. <coughs> yes, you are. You oh, are. I'll tell you what. And, and we've been watching our numbers, and just, <laughs> you guys are awesome. Yeah, I know. Uh, it, it, it's, the it, virus it, spreads. It, it is. <laughs> <laughs> Everyone's getting rupertitis. <laughs> Oh my goodness. Um, Gina says there's a phone number attached to jetpacks and those robocallers don't know. I know, but come on, man. And and it's one of those. It's, it's jamming up my stuff. It is. And it's one of those, 
one, we don't use that number. So well, of course we not. Did you pick? Right, but <laughs> so we haven't attached it to anything. Okay. But it did it. So it, it, it's one of those. Where'd you get the number, Dingleback? Hey man, <laughs> it, it's it's the NSA spy centers, man. Yeah. It, Apparently, they need me. to uh, resort their data. <laughs> <laughs> I tell you what. So, oh my goodness. Oh, Gina says there. Oh, okay. So, yeah, I just read that. <laughs> Shh. I just saw it over there. <laughs> oh, that's why you need a wireless mouse to just keep it so, on. There. So, there's big news here in Page, Arizona. Yes, there is. We have a new mayor. Yes, we do. Out with the old guard, in with the new. Well, potentially. I mean, technically, whatever. Yeah. You know, right it's now, the official, unofficial results until the canvas, which can yes. take up to 20 days and blah, blah, blah. For now. We have a new mayor for a page. It, yes. Unless something weird happens. Right. So, uh, yes. So, they they, re, they canvass the votes. They they do a recount, or I think. I don't think I, so. I, I don't know They only exactly do a recount if it's the, like, uh, yeah. Or if there's I, some kind of question of, of shenanigans. Right. Um, I don't know exactly what happens in a, in a canvas, um, but. Apparently, yeah. they lay large pieces of canvas across <laughs> the voting <laughs> things. They probably have some kind of, uh, you know, in, inscribing that they do and cast a spell and then it's official. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> Who cares? Either way, the votes came in. It looks like we have a new mayor. Uh, yes. Officially but unofficially from yes. all of the election things. Uh, uh, we, we now have uh, Mayor Levi Tappan. Yes, elect. So, elect, elect, whatever. Right. <laughs> and uh, congratulations to all of those who, who won. Um, and good on all of everybody that did run. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Um, it takes a lot to to run. Yeah, it um, does. Not even as just, you would know. Uh, yes, uh, not not, and I'm not speaking on the financial terms. No matter what you know, what mm -hmm. what level you're at. Yeah, we didn't have a budget. I tell you what. Uh, right, <laughs> it, it, it's the emotional. Holy crap! I, like, I, 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 I tell you what, man. That's oh, and, and hold ragged. on before we continue on. I just want to throw out there that this is the morning show, which means there can be biases. This is not the news. So if we have biased opinions here, that is not the official opinion of LPNN. Deal with it. <laughs> and you might ask yourself, well, why would you have to throw in that caveat, that warning, that this? Because there are still people out there that think the morning show or controversy are actually news. They're not, dummy. It's a TV station. This is a TV station. This is one of our shows. Controversy <laughs> is one of our shows. The Nightly News is one of our shows. Which one is unbiased? The News. Yes. The Morning Show is not unbiased. It has a Rupert. And we will <laughs> fire it at you for being retarded. <laughs> Just saying. So, so David, David is saying, uh, let me guess, Lois, is it California stand? No, actually, the what? state contemplating that is not California. Oh, really? To lowering the... the so there's in. another state in the union that has decided to go, duh. Yes. <laughs> and uh, Dave Dave is saying, not even sure some of the parents are smart enough to vote, much less the 16-year-old. Amen to that. Hold on. Not... not um, uh, boom, boom. You, you messed me up. I start over. <laughs> I will be quiet. Much less the 16-year-old things they are, quote-unquote, <laughs> raising. And uh, Gina says, I got a call from a friend, but it wasn't her. It was a spam caller. Yes, those are actually getting uh. so much worse. Um, Morningstar says, congratulations, Levi. Dave says, biases. Hold on. This may be a long type. Uh -oh. <laughs> we'll wait for uh -oh. it. We'll wait for it, Dave. <laughs> but either way, we just want to throw that out there because uh, we've had several incidents where people are like, oh, you're a biased news station. No, we're not. The news is unbiased. Pull your head out of your rectal canal <laughs> and realize that we have more than one TV show. Yes. The Morning Cup is one of them. Controversy is one of them. I mean... It, it, it's like ugh. going to the local Channel 4. Yeah. You have well, to... I don't know. Oh, Channel well, 4 has nothing on it but ads. Oh, right, but about? you have ads and then every once in a while you'll have the council... The, the council meeting, and it's if somebody channel. wanted to use that studio, it would it would be... Okay, never mind. No, it's not Channel 4. This is like a normal TV station where you it have is. different TV shows. Just saying. And Gina's saying, I still think they ought to be 21 years old to vote. Well, I'm going to stick with the 18 because that's, you know, I mean, if you can go to war, 
You can vote. And yeah. I think you should be able to drink, but that's a whole nother thing. It is. Now, as a collective with IQ speaking and, and political shenanigans, I would agree with you, Gina, but, I mean, you got to give credit where credit's due. You know, if you're in the military, I mean, hey. Well, you know? okay. Here, here, here's a side side thought for that. Uh-oh. What if we made military service mandatory immediately out of high school? Well, yeah, but then you'd be <laughs> violating the Constitution <laughs> and all realize. kinds of other things, there, Lois. <laughs> Can't do that. Can't do that. That's not how that works. <laughs> and Mary says this is so better than the regular TV news. Thanks, guys. You're welcome. You're thank welcome. you for watching, <laughs> and thank you for being a part of the network. But once again, this program is not news. No. We have fun here. Yes, it is fun. And controversy is serious and controversial and intentionally biased. And if 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 us saying that at the beginning and during the middle and at the end of those shows it doesn't click a light bulb, I don't know what to tell you. (laughs) Don't watch. Pretty much. I mean we actually put that in there. If you're easily offended, go away. (laughs) You know, the news is the only thing that's unbiased. These are other T V shows. They are. They what, are. What do you not understand about that? <laughs> We've been contacted on multiple occasions. It's like, ugh. <laughs> what? What is so hard to grasp here? I mean, I don't. I don't know, man. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> but either way, it's just. Uh, <laughs> I tell you. Anyway, what? <laughs> so that's the biggest news, obviously, is election theft. Yes. It looks like we have a new mayor. Um, yes. Oh, we also, what was it, Justice of the Peace? Yes, Justice of the Peace. Who, um, who officially, unofficially won that one until the canvas goes through and that, they actually bless it with some kind of satanic ritual. That would be incumbent. <laughs> in, I can never say that incumbent? word. Incumbent? Yeah, incumbent. <laughs> it's almost um, like Cumberpatch. It is. <laughs> I still have problems with that, too. <laughs> um, I have problems with my last name, and I've had it 40 years. <laughs> well, so, it is weird. <laughs> Just saying. Um, so, uh, incumbent uh, Judge Roberts, ah. uh, He. it looks like he has won. Uh, okay, okay. officially, unofficially, yeah. until they canvass the vote and have some kind of yes. satanic ritual. Yes. Okay. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> what? Is it because it's politics? I don't, probably. <laughs> Probably. Which means apparently you're going to be taking part in that as well because you you actually made it in the the primary, primary. elections. Yes, yes. I think it's, it just boggles my mind. But anyway, we won't go to that. <laughs> so Morningstar says, for our locals, please attend council meetings. Then you have a front row seat to what our elected officials are actually doing and how they are voting. Yes. And if you can't make it, at least watch it because we broadcast them all for you. So you yes. can be informed. And you can always go back and rewatch it. Let's say, um, because we're going to have another election in two years, mm-hmm. you can always go back and watch the last two years. And see exactly what you like and what you don't. Right. Now, the only time that you shouldn't be watching and actually be there is definitely when there's public hearings and things of that uh, nature. Yes. Definitely yes. need to show up on those because they won't listen to you if you are typing nasty things in the comments. Right. <laughs> we haven't gotten to that point yet. Yeah, not yet. <laughs> We're a little behind um, the times, folks. I, you know, I don't know if, if anybody allows that at this point. I don't I, know. I, that's something I need to research. But either way, um, I mean, you know, whatever. And let's see, Kimber says, I would not have survived the military right out of high school. See? I did. <laughs> sort of. <laughs> sort of. I was there. What's your problem? Huh? Yeah. <laughs> what did I get out of the military? A rocket propelled turtle. <laughs> Just saying. <laughs> I got broken. Yeah, you did. You did. <laughs> But uh, okay, so we've got we've got Levi Time and we have uh, Judge Roberts. Was there any other like really big stuff? Um, there were a couple of things, but uh, because I I was working on my article for today with the results, I haven't gotten to that um, to one of the propositions yet. You mean you're not done with all of the news for the day already? Can I flick you? Oh, <gasps> <laughs> flick! <laughs> So, um, and I, I do know that one of the large, uh, bigger propositions for, for the area, for Coconino County, was the um, in, continuing continuation of the property tax increase for... For what? Um, oh, for the CCC thing? Yeah. For did that pass or did that? I don't know. I haven't oh. looked yet. All right. Uh, well, then why bring it up, Lois? You asked. <laughs> jeez, man, jeez. <laughs> 
So anyway, we will have a complete list of results as soon as Lois is done. Put yes. them together. There's a there's a lot of things to, to update. Um, you figure I do for the entire state in, in an article because our articles go statewide and worldwide. And um, oh my goodness, there are 30 districts in this state. <laughs> and well, actually, I think there's a little more than 30 districts, there, but uh, yeah. but at least 30 districts had elections for their state house and rep. Oh, okay. So I have to get all of those in. <laughs> <laughs> I have the main state ones. Mm -hmm. um, it looks like Governor Ducey was elected to a second term. Oh, okay. So uh, officially, so, unofficially, until they can uh, yes, do the state Yes. Oh, okay. um, <laughs> and, and it does, it looks like um, the major um, single positions in the state, uh, the attorney general... Um, the state mine inspector, the governor, all went Republican. <coughs> oh, okay. Excuse me. Were, were they all so, Um, I don't know. Oh, okay. I have to look that up. Oh, yeah. <laughs> anyway. Well, I'm uh, failing at my job. You're, you're making me <laughs> fall asleep, man. I don't care no more. The, the political ads are over. Yay! Oh, no way! What? Uh, I what? haven't seen that one yet, Gina. She says she can't believe Pelosi won. Shame on you, California. What? Just saying. And this is why we call you California Stan. <laughs> I don't even know. watch her speeches. Oh, my goodness. She went senile years ago, guys. <laughs> what the hell? <laughs> oh, my goodness. And, and Diana. The uh, mummy returns. What is wrong uh, with you? Oh, my. No. <sighs> Um, and, uh, Diana's responding to Gina for her 18-year-old comment. Oh, yeah. And, uh, she says, or, sorry, 21-year-old comment. Oh, yeah. And, uh, she says, or 25 when the brain is fully developed <laughs> for a reason. That's why insurance goes down at that age. <laughs> well, like I said, I, I agree with you on one level, but on a different one, I don't. And that's because of the, you know, if, if they made it so that you could only go into the military when you were 25. Right. But if you are old enough to go out and, uh destroy the enemy for your country well then you should be old enough to do a lot of other things Perfect. so now there there is a caveat to that there's only about one percent of the population that actually go into the military so the other 99 percent absolutely <laughs> those can eating mofos need to just go away you can come out of a cocoon at 25 and then participate in society until then shut up nobody cares <laughs> Just so there should be an exception to the rule. <laughs> yeah, pretty much. And so make the rule and then unless... If you're in the military, <laughs> you can vote. If you're not, piss off. <laughs> That'll be not my new campaign <laughs> slogan right there. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my. Cran eating mother beepers. Yep, Dave, you and Dave are on the same wavelength. Uh, he <laughs> says, how about 25 unless you serve? I like it. So do I. Apparently, I'm psychic today, Dave. You're welcome. <laughs> <laughs> and and um, a lot of people are saying the same thing. Maybe just military 18-year-olds. There you go. You, you know, know I, that so, I could definitely get behind. Although, so could I. technically, you know, you're starting to walk that line on the Constitution where it's like, eh, I don't know, because everyone's supposed to be treated equally and rules are supposed to apply to everyone equally. So that yeah, kind of messes with things. So, uh, you know. Uh, okay, okay. I realize we're not in controversy, but I have to ask. I what? have to go there. What? Hasn't, hasn't DC already screwed that thought up? <laughs> Just because somebody else screws the pooch does not mean you have to follow up with sloppy seconds. Just saying. <laughs> Just saying. You're, you're, now you're going into moral relativism. That's a whole other problem. No. <laughs> that is a bad thing. Don't do it. Don't fall into that trap. I'm just saying. <laughs> oh, oh, my man. goodness. So, yeah, that, that is out of the way. Things have been decided unofficially, Ooh. officially, blah, 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 blah. That's a good thing. <clears throat> Excuse me. Um, one of the things I was kind of excited about that is coming up, I think it's tonight. Uh oh. Apparently, over at the community center, they're going to be making some pumpkin pie. Yes, they are. In a cooking demonstration. I yes. <laughs> is it homemade? I believe it is. I just is, don't is know it, how is homemade. It from scratch with uh, the pumpkin? Or is I, it from a can? <laughs> I mean, I can get behind either. If you do it properly, it's still tasty, but it's not the same. <laughs> I, 
I am very good. I, I think you're just going to have to go. I can't. Yes, you can. Nope. I can do the news. <laughs> <laughs> what? <laughs> oh, 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 oh. What? Oh, man. The last time you did the news, I was in Phoenix uh, talking with, uh, with uh, uh, someone uh, that uh, was running an event that I was at. And uh, I showed him. I showed him the news, and we both got a chuckle out of it. You took the camera. I know. <laughs> it's totally my fault. It is, but it's still hilarious <laughs> because I left you with a very, you know, it, it 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 was a webcam. But granted, it was a very expensive webcam. But the quality was crap. <laughs> it was funny. You had like this weird box around you, and it was just <laughs> it's so good. That would be your fault. <laughs> and and what? what makes it even worse, you didn't even use your good camera I while know. you were up there. I felt so bad. <laughs> no, you didn't. Not really. <laughs> <laughs> Not really. <laughs> Not really. <laughs> so Gina's saying um, <clears throat> she heard that someone didn't vote at all because they didn't understand the propositions. Well, you know what? That's actually a good thing. So the people that decide to do that, they're actually making an informed, willful choice. If you don't know about it or you don't understand it, it's best not to do anything until you do understand it. Because just randomly putting stuff out there, well, that's not really that good of a thing. I actually have to disagree with you on that. I know. Okay. Um, because just because you don't understand the propositions mm -hmm. doesn't mean you shouldn't vote at all. I, I disagree. You I know, think if you, you can if, just avoid yeah. voting for those. No, because it, well, I mean, it, it, because it's more than just propositions, there's also people for voting. Now, is it, are you trying to do a popularity contest, or do you actually understand what their platform is and what they are I'm doing? just going by just not understanding the propositions. Yeah. Well, I, like I said, I, I, have, I happen to agree with that if you don't know and you haven't been able to get your research done, I, I, I totally agree with it, and I don't blame them, you know, because some of these things can be complicated, but... You know, if, if you don't understand, I, I think it's just the best thing to do. Oh, Diana, I'm right there with you. Uh oh what? She says, I just never know what to do about the judges. <laughs> Changing of the guard. Yeah, pretty that, much. That's, I mean... My, that's my thing. <laughs> we actually talked about this. So, so I, one of our biggest thing is, is you get entrenched government that gets bigger and bigger and things get worse and worse. And you've got people that have been in there for their lifetimes and stuff. Like Pelosi. No more! <laughs> If in doubt, kick him out. <laughs> get yeah. some new blood in there so things, I mean, because otherwise it stagnates and you get to just... Yeah, yeah. I mean, and so, I've and, always done that with judges. Yeah, when in doubt, kick him out. You know, it just... Hallelujah. That, that, amen! <laughs> Can I get an amen? <laughs> um, let's see, so... David says, who ran against Governor Ducey? Was it wannabe Governor Acey? There were two other people, I think. Elect them both and have an Acey Ducey situation. <laughs> I like Acey DC. That's uh -huh. good. I like, that's that funny. was good. <laughs> <laughs> nice. um, Dave says, it's not an all or nothing. You can just skip the things you don't yeah. know and yeah. vote on the ones you do. That, and that's what I was meaning. Well, yes, I do agree with that. Like, you know, I mean, if you don't know about it, okay, then don't vote on it. But then the ones that you do. But if the right. person didn't have any ideas at all, then uh, I can see yes. why they didn't. Yes, and that's why I said I was just going with the not understanding the propositions. Yeah, yeah. You know, you don't have to fill in a circle. Yeah, you don't. You can <laughs> leave it blank. You know, you just leave it. If, if you're not sure, it's better that you don't put anything in. Yep, that's what pretty much. And there was one on that ballot yesterday for, um, I, I think it was for the state, uh, that was a, if you vote yes, it's a no. And we talked about this yesterday. Oh, yeah, we did. And, we did. And, I don't and remember which one that was. It was but, yeah. so weird. It was, like, it was like, come on, guys. And I could have sworn. Yeah, normally when in doubt, you can vote no and you're, you're good because it's like, hey, we're living in government power. Yay! <laughs> but in this case, it's not necessarily the case. Right? <laughs> so yeah, it's like, wait a minute, what? You know, they try and trick you. Uh, they do, they do. They try and get behind and, and your And I mind. could have sworn years ago, unless it was in California, <laughs> um, that that it was it was passed uh, that you can't do wording like that. That yeah, it has well. to be clear. Whatever, they did, so. Oh, well, yeah. Obviously, it's not illegal. They've got teams of lawyers. Well, that, no, I realize that. <laughs> you know, they're unless, like, no, you can't do that, or yes, you can, or that's right in the line, but you're still good. 
Right, and, and that's what um, attorneys do. They they ride that line. <laughs> Unless it was, you know, uh, repealed. I have no idea. I don't, know. I don't really care. <laughs> I don't care. So yeah, that was that's all the election stuff. That was yeah. uh, was interesting. And no, yay! The it's political fun. events are over. <laughs> <laughs> They're over. <laughs> That's the happy. So old. It, it was, and, and all it was, um, you know, like, uh, like for instance, on YouTube, it was between ten and like twenty second ads that were like, "This person is the devil. Don't vote for them." <laughs> it's like, huh? how do I know if they're the devil or not? Why are you not the devil for telling me this? I don't even know. <laughs> see, and that's why I have ad blockers. Yeah, I know. <laughs> but they, see, that screws over a lot of people that are on YouTube because they're creators, and the only well, way that they can get revenue no, I, from their videos is by having those ads play. You in watch it more than I do. I'm just. Saying. I, I'm normally looking through news. We're on YouTube as well. Yes. And if if we had viewers that went over there, we do have a couple of viewers that go over to YouTube that watch the show when they have ad blockers. Well, then that doesn't count towards us. So I just deal with it. Uh, right. No. Because I like supporting. And, People that put out quality content. Yes, and and I I'm very rarely on YouTube. Yeah, I know. You know, so it's just I I have the ad blockers for like the um the news things <laughs> that I that I watch yeah. that aren't you know small like us. Um and oh, oh the <laughs> freaking ads on there. It, yeah. it, it, who who it, likes to go to normal news sites and see? Ten quadrillion freaking pop-ups that are like subscribe this and do that, and you can't even read the article. It, yeah, it drives me nuts. <laughs> so, so, so I'm gonna put this out there. Um, we are, we've also had several people say, "Oh, you should turn into a subscription-based news service." Well, no, we're not gonna do that. That's not how that works because the news should be free to everybody. Yes. But if you like the news and you would like to support us and you would like to be a member of the network and not an enemy of the network, <laughs> then purchase LPNN the shirt or LPNN the premium shirt. We also have a sweater. <laughs> you can go to Amazon.com and purchase those at between 5 and $8. Go to the cause. When is the hoodie coming up? <laughs> I'm <been> busy. <laughs> I've been meaning to do it, but it's been hectic, man. <laughs> yes, there will be a hoodie at some point. And, uh, hold on. <coughs> See, uh, you're messing with my flow, Lois. Like, no? Yeah. <laughs> if you would also like to support LPN in another fashion, we do have Behind the Scenes, Behind the Hat Unplugged. And uh, there you get to see stuff behind the scenes mm -hmm. that uh, we can't put in the main news stream. It's got all kinds yep. of weird stuff it does. going on. Yeah. It, it, it really does. And that's uh, $10 a month if you want to join that. Just let us know. <laughs> so let's see. Um, oh, we got to learn comments? <laughs> oh, yes. Uh-oh. Um, so Diana is saying that sounds like a good plan for the when in doubt, you know. When in doubt, kick it out. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. It, pretty much. And uh, Gina says she had to read them three plus times. To get a handle on the meanings. Yeah. Uh huh. Yeah, they'll mess with. That's why when we, before we go, we actually read through everything and we figure it out. We look it up. We do the right. whole nine yards, and we actually fill out a sample ballot so we know how we're gonna vote on every single thing. And then when we go, we take that in. So it only takes like five minutes to get your entire ballot filled out because you've already done all your research yes. beforehand. Yes. Makes it easier. Then. And uh, Dave says more fun stuff. I'm going into a two year depression. <laughs> <laughs> It'll be okay. It will. It will. Oh, Diana, you are evil. Uh -oh. You are evil this morning. She says, are we taking bets at when the 2020 ads start? Oh, man. <laughs> you know what? I actually January. saw that. Uh, no, I saw on, on uh, one of the news sites that I check out to make sure that, or to see if the world has ended yet and I might have missed something. <laughs> um, they actually said, and now prepare for all of the 2020 presidential election stuff. And I was like, no! I bet you dollars to donuts. Yeah, you're probably January. Right. Uh, Ew! Uh, <laughs> and not January 2020. It'll be no. January 2019. I know, man. They have to have bottomless pockets. I want pockets that deep. Me too. You know, do you have any idea what we could do with funding? Oh my goodness. You'd have Ooh. so many more programs. <laughs> we'd have programs. We'd have employees. We'd have a building. Uh, yeah. We wouldn't be stuck in Homestead Studios. We, I, oh, there would be so much stuff, but I, I can't think about that because it depresses me. I know. Me. It is <laughs> oh, and if you're a business and you'd like to uh, sponsor any of our shows, let us know. 
We're looking yeah. for those. We are. Theoretically, we are. Lois will be out today doing some of that. I will be. Um, Gina says uh, you should just be able to advertise your qualities, not just slander and berate your opponent. Yeah. Yes, and one of the but things that's that I they noticed... Do. They're like, this person is evil because of this, and this person is bad because of that. It's like... Mm. And you know, one of the things that, that I've seen is people are complaining that... You know, it's never been like this before. You know, it's just been slowly getting worse. Because I remember as a teenager getting to the point, getting close to the age of being able to vote, I started paying attention. Yeah. And it has, over the years, it has been getting progressively worse with the slander ads. Mm -hmm. And so, I mean, to me, it's like... Although it it hasn't, though. When you look historically, I mean, there was... Back in the day, man... Those guys were nasty. <laughs> they were. Oh yeah. <laughs> I mean, even like back in like Lincoln's Day and stuff, man. The, the the newspaper ads and stuff that would come out. Most of those kind of things are illegal now. They were so bad. Oh wow. Yeah. <laughs> so I know I know it looks that way, but that's just because it's more prevalent because of things like social media, the internet, and this and that, where you can get constantly bombarded. But it did back in the day. It used to be a lot worse. Oh boy. Like that's like, a little scary. We're talking like knock down, drag out, like dueling pistols, bad. <laughs> Like, people are like, ah! <laughs> so, hey, maybe we should come back to that. Yeah, sometimes I wonder. <laughs> An armed pistol? society is a polite society. I'm I just was, saying. I was thinking, you know, um, like cage fights or whatever yeah. for, for politicians. <laughs> Two may enter, only one may leave. <laughs> um, uh, Dwayne is giving us a thumbs up. <laughs> Good to see you. What? What am I, oh, okay. <laughs> anyway. And uh, Diana's saying she agrees. And uh, she also says, I'm sticking with Netflix and HBO for Game of Thrones. <laughs> Unfortunately, Game of Thrones is almost done. Yeah, it's um, almost <laughs> done. But you know what? If our political system was like that, boy, you'd have new politicians all the time. Oh, my goodness. <laughs> <laughs> what we need is a script to follow here. Be like, oh, I hate that. Oh, uh, he's gone. Never mind. <laughs> What new jackhole is going to be up in office today? He might be gone next oh, week. Oh, my goodness. Oh, that would be epic. <laughs> it could be fun. It would make poli- politics a lot more fun. Mm-hmm. I think a lot more people would get engaged with it. Definitely. And it would you know make what? it very interesting. We'll just take it back to the Roman times. We'll get a coliseum, we'll, and, and instead of you know slave gladiators, we'll have politicians. All right. I like it. Instead of so, instead of the gladiator games, it would be the politician games. Yes. <laughs> yeah, and you know you could set it. This, you know what? We're on to something here. <laughs> Who's with me? Let's take it out. You know what? In all honesty, I would be. Except now, technically, I am a politician, <laughs> <laughs> and I get my butt handed to me. I don't know. I'm looking at your competition. I think you're good. <laughs> Oh, let's see. Gina says, I want to know what the people running are going to do to help the country, not what their opponent doesn't do. Yes, thank you. But they don't care about that. (laughs) That's not how it works. Right, right. They're just like, oh, I'm going to throw some mud this way and this way, and I'm just going to see what sticks. (laughs) That's how it boils down to. They're all lying to you anyway, man. I'm just saying. Oh, and Diana has has an addition to your gladiator oh. po- uh, politician games. Loser goes to the Lions. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. There you go. You know what? It can go to the Lions, or we can store up Soylent Green. We just oh, bind them up no. and feed them to people. No. Oh, my God. It's no. people! <laughs> It's a whole new industry. And, and we do have somebody who's watching that I know for a fact has never seen that movie. Uh, okay. <laughs> and and we've mentioned it before, and she goes, what? <laughs> well, then you should watch the movie. But I'm going to spoil it for you again. It's people! <laughs> um, Dave says, just toss... Toss. <laughs> um, just toss both candidates in a pit and then stream it live. Raise funds and let the watcher vote over social media. If the winner is not accept, um, if the winner is not acceptable, kill him and grab two more. <laughs> <laughs> or if we're not getting enough views, right? <laughs> like, oh, you guys are boring. Nobody cares. Bang, bang. <laughs> I think, well, it, never mind. <laughs> it's a different timeline. Never mind. <laughs> Oh my goodness! So uh, let's see what else. Uh, yesterday we went around town and we were checking out stuff that was going on. Yes. And uh, we did put some posts up, like uh, you know, 
for people who might be interested. And this is one of the things that you guys out there may not realize. But uh, I will experiment on the Facebook page and put up different kinds of posts. And if they don't get enough reactions, then I figure nobody's interested. So I stop putting them up. Um, so we tried these ones and we went out and we, uh, we checked out some construction that was going on, some road work that was going on. We got a little bit of stuff. So I may give it a one more shot and see what happens. Otherwise, we'll just stick it in normal news articles on the website. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Otherwise, it jams up the, uh, the social media feed and people have to sort through all kinds of stuff. Like, <laughs> yeah, pretty much. <laughs> yeah. Spam, 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 spam. No, oh, no. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not talking about spam burritos. No, I was just talking about articles. <laughs> but anyway, yeah, we went to uh, what was it? the Grandview Knoll. Yes. And they've got like a you know like a big earth mover up there, and uh, they've ripped up the earth and semi leveled it out, and uh, we took some pictures of that and let everybody know. And then yep. not far from that location, they had uh, they had a little truck and they were doing some crack seals on the roads. Yeah. So that was interesting. It was. It was. Um, I, I do need to go and find out how, how the, uh, road construction has been, deli- or, um, assigned. De- yeah, assigned. assigned. Yes. Okay. Thank you. <laughs> yeah, My I brain have no is idea. not completely on yet. <laughs> the, huh? the switch is, huh? is, is flickering. <laughs> so what you, what you need is, is, is this. No, I do not need that. <laughs> No, 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 you, no, just let it happen. No, I am not just going to no, let no, it happen. Just flick. Just, no. no. <laughs> Homie, don't play that. <laughs> anyway. I'm just trying to reset you, those. Come on. Oh. Oh. Now, and now, now I feel the urge to wear my Jane hat. It's my Jane hat. No, there you go. Um, You lost an ear. I, I felt it. <laughs> I just kind of went. <laughs> oh, there went the other one. Oh, my. <laughs> See now it's a Jane hat. Now it's you know when you put when you put the sides up. I swear to goodness, it looks like you're trying to be a basset hound because they're long and floppy ears. Um. So yeah. Yeah. Pretty much. <sighs> Just. Do we have any big stuff coming up other than the cooking demonstration with pumpkin pie today? Um. Today, I. I, I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> I guess I should not I ask you, you important uh, questions. Pretty much, pretty much. I just got done saying my brain switch is flickering. Yeah, on but I always said it with a "hope oh, we don't play that." Uh, yeah, no, no. <laughs> <laughs> No. You remember you remember that show? Yes, I do. In Living, in Living Color. Color. <laughs> Fire Marshal Bill. Fire Marshal Bill was my hero. <laughs> he still is. Fire Marshal Bill was amazing. Oh my goodness. We need to put him in charge of something. I'm just saying. Uh, you know, we were I, talking I, about like Hunger Games style stuff. If he was in charge, woo. <laughs> that, that'd be more than Hunger Games style. Um, Every time <laughs> You know, and and we talk about every once in a while. We'll talk about um, shows that that we we watched growing up. Yes, and and I think back and go in today's society, there is no way that those would ever. Oh God, come, no! Uh, just I no. Know. Nowadays, people are like, oh, I'm offended. <laughs> oh, I can't stop. I'm so offended. But and then they get PTSD from being offended. <laughs> You know that's not actually a thing, right? I'm just saying. What the? Oh, I, I just went. Uh, yeah. What the? Yeah. Huh? <laughs> I'm gonna flatline on beef. Yeah, yeah, you are. <coughs> Excuse me. Oy, oy, oy. You know that's one of the, that's one of the sections of memes that makes me laugh the most is when they go through like history and they're like people back in you know. In the in the Civil War, you know, this is what they had to deal with, and then you know, World War One, World War Two, you know, and they've got all this stuff going on, and it's eighteen year olds and sixteen year olds and some that are supposed to be eighteen, you know, <laughs> and they're all hard charging, you know, and and then you come up to today's generation, and they're like, <laughs> <laughs> so you know, <laughs> it's just like no, no, no. Oh, Diana it gets says worse every day. Diana says like all in the family. Yes. Yes, yeah, yeah. um, other, you know, there are a bunch of shows. What about the Jeffersons, man? Oh, God. Uh, yeah, no. I mean, uh, there's a lot of shows. And there are. Nowadays. And that's, that's and, an older one, but I mean, there's... there's that uh, would not happen if they tried to put them out. I know. It, it, well, no, they, it would happen, and then, like, the world would end. You'd... <laughs> It would be like the sound of a thousand snowflakes melting at once. <laughs> a disturbance in the farce. <laughs> Just, you'd see the atmosphere would fill up with steam. 
global warming would become out of control and we'd all boil to death because of the level of offendedness that would happen <laughs> nowadays. <laughs> There's a challenge for you... Uh... Um, uh, conservatives uh, hiding in Hollywood. <laughs> it's as if a billion snowflakes screamed out at once. Oh my and goodness. then suddenly we're snuffed out. <laughs> oh, one can only hope. We have to find our Death Star. Oh, it's called pollen. <laughs> no, no, I'm talking about an actual Death Star to melt snowflakes. Oh. I don't care about your pollen Death Star. <laughs> <sighs> They are shaped like pop, like Death Stars, darn it. No, but that, wait, that's a whole different subject. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it's not, no, man. Oh, my no. goodness. Oh, oh that's I'll epic. Tell you what? Oh. All right, there we go. All right. <clears throat> but anyway, so I guess, let's see. What was that? What, um, I, nah, we you were know what? talking about now? shows. No, you cannot. No. No. I won't be done. Uh, no. <laughs> <laughs> Fine, I'm just gonna sit here and pout. Oh, good lord! Your I'm... worms are right over there. Oh, I'm gonna go eat worms. Oh, really? No. <laughs> it's too early for goodness. Uh, yeah, pretty much. Fine, I'm gonna go in my safe space. Where's my hair dryer? <laughs> <laughs> anyway, all right. So, <laughs> wow. Moving on to, wow. to more productive things. <laughs> mm, yeah. Productive. What, do you, what do you got for us today there, Lois? Oh, my goodness. I, I, I have a, a bit. Um, you have a bit? Are you going to do like a song and dance? Oh, heck no. No? no. <laughs> oh, fun. So, so because I was working on the news this morning, I lost track of time mm -hmm. and um, forgot to put more stuff together for the morning show. Well, that's fine. We have a bunch from yesterday that we didn't even use. Right, we do, but they're, they're videos. What is wrong with you? Stop bringing videos in. Our internet is not good enough to sustain these things. You should know better. I guess we're going to have to try it. Oh, uh, so the very first one. Um, I know we have a lot of animal lovers that um, follow us and that, that watch. And it is... Oh. Yep. Oh. I warned you, Lois. I warned you. Bummer. You did not listen. You do not need sound. Well, yeah, but I still have to... Oh, that, we saw this. You've done this on before. No, we haven't. Yes, you have. No, we haven't. We not. did this back in Homestead Studios. Or no, I mean, Freedom Studios. Uh, no, we didn't. Yes. No. I was there. Okay, well, if we did, I don't remember. No, all right, well, now you do. I've, I've shown it to you. Yeah, but we actually did a thing on it. Did we? Yeah, we did. Oh, then we don't have to. It's too late. I already had it up and we're wasting time. Oh, okay. So we will go ahead and throw this up because it's cute anyway. It, it is cute. <laughs> it is cute. Um, and, and, and for those of you who want to travel around with your dogs and don't want them jumping out the window, but... Mm-hmm. Yep. It's cute. <laughs> and, and I love the fact that they have designs on them. Yeah, uh, and So they're big manes of... Yeah, like a lion's and, mane. Yes. <laughs> I had two heads out of that one. I know, right? <laughs> but it does. It it helps keep your pets, um, well, your dogs. <laughs> I can't really say pets because cats will easily go through. Oh, yeah, definitely. Um, but it does <laughs> help keep your uh, your dogs into in the car rather than jumping out the window. Yeah, which, which is, is always not, a good thing. Yeah. yeah, jumping out the window is not a good idea. <laughs> um, <laughs> so... Yep, there yeah, you and go. And you know what? We, you, we have this issue. If, when we take the dogs around, if that window is down too far, they're gone, man. Uh, they are. They are. So. It doesn't matter how fast you're driving. They, they, no. What? <laughs> especially the Tigger. Uh, yes, yes, especially <sighs> the Tigger. So, they have um, no concept of what's going on here. There. <laughs> no, and you know what's really funny is Tigger is not the first dog that I have had that has done that. Mm. Um, growing up, we had a dog, and her name was Taz, mm -hmm. and, we, and we had a pickup. A pickup truck with an extra long bed in sure, the back, sure. mm -hmm. and um, we would tie her up in the back as we were, you know, driving around because there wasn't enough room in the cab. Mm -hmm. And there, we learned the hard way. Thankfully, we weren't going very fast. Mm -hmm. That the lead we had for her was too long. Yeah, because she can get out. And yep, and we were turning the corner to go back to the house, so we were doing maybe five miles an hour, and she jumped over the side. And was running along the side, 
of the truck. Well, at least she wasn't getting drugged. Uh, no, <laughs> she wasn't getting drugged, but it was still... And thankfully, we had her in a harness yeah, rather yeah. than on a yeah, collar. Well, right. <sighs> yeah, yeah. But it was one of those <laughs> yeah, I think freak out not, moments. Not good. So something like that, and I realize this doesn't go onto the back of a pickup, but something like this would have been very helpful. Although I guess you could do the same thing with a pickup where there's a hole and only the head can poke up. Yeah, that is true. <laughs> problem solved. Problem solved. <laughs> oh my goodness. That's cute. So I, I really like this. Um, one of these days I would like to get one. Uh, but mm -hmm. mm, yeah, that's not happening. Yeah. Um, so this next video, um, I know for a fact we have not done. Okay. Excuse me. And if it is a real product, I want I want some because I just want to try it. <laughs> um, <laughs> it's the second link. It says I want some. Uh, yes. <laughs> and you do need to have noise with uh, this. Oh, I do. It, yes. Okay. With this one, you have to have volume um, because of the product that it is. All right. Let me go um, ahead and uh, I, transfer this over and put on some sound. I really do. If this is a true product, either way, it's funny as I'll get out. All right. But if it is a true product. Helium beer? I really oh, want to try this. <laughs> I got it. Oh, no. Nope. There we go. Yeah, wrong. It's helium beer. Sorry, I cut off the top of the thing, guys. I'm going to go ahead and pull that up. There we go. Helium beer. Yes, yes. <laughs> And, and, oh my goodness, you have got to listen to these guys. Like I said, I don't know if it's a real thing. I bet you it is. But either way, it's funny. Hey, man, they put nitrogen in beer. I don't see this why. This is true. I'm mean. just saying, I don't know if it's been voiced over. Oh, I don't know. I, I don't you know. know. <laughs> but the idea, the concept of it, uh -huh. I, I do want to try it. <laughs> <laughs> All right, well, we'll go ahead and give it a shot. Yes. I have our speakers turned up just uh, okay. a little bit, so shh. <laughs> Don't bother. <laughs> it's gonna make you better. <laughs> Ich habe keine Ahnung, ob das funktioniert, aber wenn es funktioniert, ähm, dann ist das ein Geniestreich. <lacht> Alright, we're not gonna play the whole thing, but that now, is could you imagine epic. <laughs> Could you imagine that? I mean I just you're out having a good time Shenanigans, anyway. man. Shenanigans. Oh, goodness, yes. That is hilarious. <laughs> I want some. <laughs> Can you imagine? Oh, that oh, would be so much fun. It would be. Yeah. It really would, that would be. It would be hilarious. And then every time you, you know, like sometimes when you drink beer too fast or too much, you get the burps. Yes. It's the same problem. <laughs> you know, it would come back up and be like, Kimber says she's seen this. Really? Like in real life or I just think, this video? I think this video. Oh, okay. All right. It's like, we gotta find this stuff, man. Um, uh, uh, from what I'm gathering, mm -hmm. I'm guessing here, I believe they are speaking German. Um, yeah, it sounds like German. So maybe we have to take a trip to Germany. <laughs> That's a long trip, Lois. It is, it is, but it would be a fun one. I bet you we could order it online. <laughs> oh, that's not as fun. Uh, yeah, but then it doesn't involve the Gestapo. Uh -oh. It's going to involve the Gestapo at some point. Ah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Gina's laughing, and Kimber says, put it in the coffee and then do the morning show. That was, that's a good you know, idea. They, you know what? She brought up a good point. They have that, uh, there's those soda making machines that has the CO2 bottles that you can make your own soda. Let's get some helium in that sucker, man. Let's do it. You could you could carbonate anything with helium. That would be fun. I I I, I am very glad you understand the science behind this because oh. <laughs> but there is no way I would be able to figure it out. No, they have a they have a machine that can actually carbonate drinks for you, and so you can make your own soda. But why would we want carbonated um, coffee? Because it's got helium in it. <laughs> 
point. That's how. That's why the beer is. It, so okay, they carbonate so, it with helium. So okay. <laughs> Instead of CO two, they're using helium. <laughs> Come on, man. What I'm getting at. Um. Now, now, what's the difference between drinking it, uh-huh. um, and sucking it out of a balloon? It's funnier because you're not expecting it. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just saying. Could you and still then, get a headache? Could you still get lightheaded? And if you technically, if you if you did drink too much, well, you've got you know you can have a hangover, helium, whether it's helium or alcohol. <laughs> <laughs> you know, obviously, if you displace too much oxygen in your bloodstream, you're going to have some issues. So so don't don't be doing that. no no beer bongs with this stuff, guys. Although the same thing applies with like CO two, which is what normal carbonated drinks are with. So, okay. I mean, do those give you headaches? No, well, it's, it's a dehydration. You have to displace <laughs> enough oxygen for the, for what you're talking about, and it's okay. Dis- okay, well, okay, you're talking about displacing oxygen and everything, and I understand with sucking helium out of a balloon, mm-hmm. it's going into your lungs. Yes. Okay. How does this work if you're not breathing it? But you are. You are. As you drink it, those bubbles are popping because it's effervescent. You know, they're kind of popping. And so you're you're inhaling a small amount of the helium as it goes down. Oh. Yeah. Then you do the same thing with a normal carbonated drink. Oh. That's how it works. And then, like I said, when you burp, you have helium burp. <laughs> and so then you're right. That's what you have want to hear you on helium. <laughs> be fun. Be fun. Oh my goodness. All right. Well, I think that's it. That's about all we have time for today. Else? Yes. Yes. Okay. So all you guys out there, thank you for watching. Thank you for liking, commenting, and sharing. We do appreciate it. Thank you so much for being a part of the network. Yes. Thank you. Have an amazing day. And don't forget to celebrate the fact that no more political ads for a little while. Well, at least a month. <laughs> I don't know, man. We'll see. <laughs> well, we next see. month is December. Yeah, that's true. Uh, so at least a month. But you've got Christmas in, you know, October, and and it's uh, it just no. <laughs> They're gonna do the same thing, man. It's just gonna be never ending sea of political BS. Oh, oh wait, it is anyway. Yeah. Oh, we'll just have to hear about it. I don't it wanna. Then. I don't wanna. <laughs> anyway, guys, have an amazing day. Be safe out there. Um, you know, keep your eyes peeled and yes. thanks for watching. Thank you guys. <laughs> Who wants to see the Rupert? I do. Bye, <laughs> Bye guys. <laughs>